Hi, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit educational Break the Cycle website. Uh, that website presents eight self-improvement lessons which come from my being a marriage and family therapist for 31 years and being on the planet for seven decades. Lesson four in the website is about practical ways of improving your relationships. Uh, a major relationship for many people is their marriage or their primary partner relationship. <clears throat> In this video, I want to summarize for you a topic that I don't often see elsewhere in similar uh, relationship literature. I want to offer you a summary of common marital needs. The reason I'm going to do that is, in my experience, counseling many, many uh, troubled or hopeful couples. Uh, I noticed that the troubles come from, as in any relationship, when one or both partners are not getting certain needs met. Many people aren't used to thinking in terms of needs, or if they do, they think they're being selfish. Um, that's really not true, in my biased opinion. I wonder if you'd agree that the quality of a relationship with anybody, parent, child, friend, friend, mate, mate, uh, yourself with yourself, the quality of a relationship, um, unsatisfying to satisfy, depends on how well and how often your collection of needs in the relationship get fulfilled or met. That's what the word satisfaction means means my needs are met. So what I'd like to do is read, because I can't remember them all, I'd like to read a set of marital needs that I think are common to most healthy primary partnership relationships. As I do this, um, reflect on them. I'm going to do it fairly slowly and think about whether you think it's a legitimate need whether you have this need, if you have a partner, whether she or he has this need, and is the need filled. Be prepared to feel a little overwhelmed, because there are 17 needs that, in my opinion, most partnered people try to fill with each other. Here goes. Typical partners need to feel admired by their partner. They need to feel needed. They need to feel loved. However you define that powerful word. A universal, essential need that needs fulfilling all the time is, I need to feel you respect me. Respect both mates need to feel genuinely, not dutifully, genuinely respected by their partner. Would you agree? Each partner needs to feel respect for themselves, too, by the way. Each partner needs to feel trusted and trusting of and by their partner. Would you agree? I need to trust you. I need to feel that you will be honest with me about your thoughts, feelings, needs, hopes, actions, and I suspect you need me to be honest with you. Um, that includes the need for feedback. From time to time, I need to tell you, I need to hear from you, and I need to tell you whether I feel you are honest and trustworthy or not about certain topics about everything. I need feedback. I need empathy from you. I need you. I need to feel that you understand me. You may not agree with me, but I need you to understand me, my thoughts, my feelings, my goals, my hopes, my dreams. And I need you, despite our differences, I need you to accept me. Acceptance. I need to enjoy companionship with you, and part of that is partnership. 
when we when I have a project I'd like to feel that you'll partner with me often not necessarily always but two is better than one in most life projects I find I hope you feel the same I really like I need to feel special in your life I need to feel I'm number one among all your relationships except possibly with a higher power and with yourself I need to feel I'm at least number two with you um, nobody higher I need to be able to communicate effectively with you and that includes win-win problem solving when we don't have that we fight and argue and feel distressed and dissatisfied it's no fun so I need effective communication with you I need you to want to learn how to communicate effectively with me especially problem solving I really need to feel stimulated in my relationship with you <clears throat> because the alternative is feeling bored that's no fun it weighs down on everything so I enjoy that you enjoy life yourself and that you enjoy life with me and together we can find fun and interesting things to do I need that depending on who I am and perhaps my gender I need romance once in a while um, hard to define it's easy to spot whether you've got it or not do you need romance in your relationship people early in the relationship often do as they mature that evolves into something deeper and perhaps better when I'm down or having a tough time I really need you to encourage and support me I need that's where empathy comes in I need you to understand how I feel read between my lines encourage me cheer me on and if necessary confront me in a loving way that's a kind of support if you think I'm making a stupid decision please confront me in a constructive way I don't need you to shame me or belittle me okay there's a part of me that at times needs to feel desired by you I need to feel that you find me attractive and desirable and that you want physical intimacy with me more than anybody else I suspect you need that from me too yes I need to feel a, a balance with you of being us and also of being me I need boundaries with you I need to agree on some boundaries so you can be you and have your own friends and your own interests and your own activities and I can have mine and we can be comfortably apart from each other as well as enjoy being together for many things so I need uh, steady boundaries between you and me we're both persons and we're a couple Um, I may need to nurture children with you some couples do some couples don't the majority want or enjoy raising children together whether they're conceived or adopted that's a strong need in many not all couples to conceive and enjoy creating a new human being and nurturing them through their years to become a happy productive person notice how you feel right now I've just gone very quickly through 17 needs that I propose typical mates women men regardless of whether they're heterosexual or homosexual committed mates need some mix of these 17 factors did you hear any one that you disagreed with would you agree that some are more important to others than others to each mate 
Each mate has a different profile of these needs in terms of which are more important than others. So here's the challenge for people who want to choose and keep a committed partnership. Identify your needs, find out how to fill your needs when they're not met, acknowledge that your partner has similar needs but may have different priorities on them, learn how to problem solve. Problem solving is identifying needs and creatively, cooperatively finding a way to fill your and your partner's needs at the same time. Are you able to do that? Most marriages in the United States fail legally or psychologically. That says most mates are unable to fulfill these 17 needs often enough, well enough. It also means they can't problem solve very well. I hope you are among those who can succeed. Um, you can make a worksheet out of these needs. There already is one in Lesson 4 in my website, Break the Cycle website, at sfhelp.org. I hope this may motivate you to study and discuss the other videos that relate to Lesson 4 and study and discuss Lesson 4, Lessons 1 through 4, together with your partner. I hope you found this interesting and useful. Thanks for your time.